Hey everybody, um, this is Peter with Honey Acres Homestead and today I want to show you what we're going to be starting here on the homestead. It's something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time and I just hadn't done it. Um, we would learned chickens and uh, we've done some turkeys but I've wanted to do quail for all, several years and we've decided to finally go ahead and pull the trigger and get the quail started. Um, we have both of our GQF uh, incubators that are over here. So we order our first set of eggs from My Shire Farm, which is a company that I found on YouTube. Um, they've been doing quail for several years now, and he seems like he's got some good experience, some good knowledge in the industry, and he has several different varieties of quail that uh, he offers. So uh, every Sunday they do a live stream, and I've been a part of those for the last couple Sundays, just watching them, watch, asking some questions, listening to some of the in, uh, advice that's been offered on the channel. And uh, I decided to go ahead and make my first purchase of eggs. And so we got uh, two kinds of eggs. We got some wild Caternix, and we also got some that he calls Pearl, which is a white and black spotted uh, quail. So I think those will be a lot of fun to get started with, just kind of get our feet wet, see how it goes from there. Uh, we're really excited. Um, the first set of eggs came a couple of days ago, so we let them sit for 24 hours to acclimate and kind of get to be room temperature and settle down from all the shipping. Um, but we have them here and They look really good. I've pulled out a few of them. Um, they look good. I don't think any of them cracked uh, in shipping, so that's a great thing. They're packaged really, really well. So we're gonna go ahead and get these here in, uh, get them set, get them in the incubator, and then we have about uh, 15 days, and then um, we'll get them into the hatcher, and then in about 18 days, they'll start hatching out, and we'll have a bunch of baby chicks in the brooder. So we're excited. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So one thing that you want to do when you're incubating eggs, and you may already know this if you've done chickens or any other um, kind of breeds or varieties, is that when you're hatching your eggs in your incubator, you want to make sure that the pointy tip is down in your hatching tray if you're using this kind of cabinet style tray. Um, the reason for that is that there's an air pocket in the top of the egg and that's going to be really important as they start to get older and the embryo develops. So you always point them straight down with the fat end on top. How many eggs did you get? Um, I got 210. I got a hundred of the pearl, and then I got a hundred and ten of the wild caternix, the jumbo wild caternix. What are those that you're doing right now? These are pearls. I think this is it for the pearls right here. They're beautiful. And now we wait. Hey 
guys. So we're back out here in the quail barn and uh, we've got our incubator covered in blankets and uh, some pretty thick foam. And um, something that I wasn't aware of, but um, we had some really cold weather. We had some snow actually, and uh, it got down to like nine degrees. And this room is not insulated, it's not sealed at the top. And so this got really, really cold. Um, it was cold for several hours. It dropped down to like 86 degrees for, I don't know, four or five hours. And then I got the blankets over it. I got the foam wrapped around all the way around the back and the sides. And we brought the temperature right back up to 99.6, which is right where it needs to be. So for a few hours, it was low. I'm hoping that doesn't really impact our incubation and our eggs are still um, viable and they're still good. But um, we've had the blankets around it now for a little over a week. Temperature's been good, humidity's been right. It's been staying right between 40, 45 degrees humidity, which is right where you want it for the first couple weeks while they're in the incubator. Um, so today's day 15, we're gonna go ahead and get in here. We're gonna lock it down, get the eggs ready for hatching. We're gonna up our humidity to around 80 degrees and um, we're gonna let it sit here for the next three days. And then hopefully we have about 200 little chicks. How many do you think are going to hatch? Any guesses? Well, we're supposed to have a 50% guaranteed hatch rate, so I'm just, you know, it depends on whether that temperature drop made a difference or not. Um, it only got down to, uh, what'd I say? 88. 88. So for a few hours, it might be a little low, but. So you're hoping for at least 100? Well, yeah, uh, with 210, let's hope for at least 100. So when we first got all of these chicks out of the incubator, um, there was so many and it was cold outside, we didn't get a chance to count them. But now that they've been in here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch them over into some new bedding. And uh, so far I counted this one, we've got 77. We're gonna go ahead and count this one and see exactly what our hatch to egg ratio is. What did I say that was? 170. 177. So, and 179. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> we lost, what, 30? 30 eggs that didn't hatch? That's a really good ratio. That's and only losing two that hatched is also a good ratio. Right. These ones are all doing great. I see my little baby. Hi, little baby. Well, I guess we finally arrived. Um, we've been wanting to do quail for a long, long time and uh, events just haven't really allowed it to happen. But I've done a lot of research over the years and I've been looking forward to doing quail. And we finally have some little quail. And uh, we had started with 209. One of our eggs was bad in the mail when we got them shipped from Myshire Farm. But um, 
I highly recommend My Shire Farm. I think they did a great outstanding job shipping their eggs. And uh, I'm pretty happy so far with the product that we got from them. So um, we've done a lot of research, um, but you know, sometimes doing a lot of research doesn't really get you ready for um, actually hands-on and doing it. And um, we had some issues with the incubator when we first got started, just because it was too cold in that room, trying to keep the temperature right, the humidity right. Um, and then when these little guys hatched, the brooder that I had set up, um, it wasn't warm enough, so we had to move them into the house. And uh, we have now six tubs with lights and feeders and waterers. But they're doing okay now. We did lose several of them in the very beginning, just because we were trying to get them, uh, get them set up right. Um, I think that they were struggling with some overcrowding and then just um, the heat lamps and, and everything. So, but now we have about uh, 130 or so quail left and uh, they're all doing very, very well. We've got a, um, a grow out cage set up um, in our outbuilding and it'll be, uh, I think, a really good place for them to grow and, and get, uh, get big. But anyway, this is our little quail and um, we're pretty excited to get started here. I do uh, want to give a shout out to my brother and my sister-in-law. They've been doing quail for a little over a year now, and he's given us a lot of advice and, and uh, some suggestions along the way. So um, thank you to you guys for all the, the help that you guys have given us on the phone. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this little guy back in his warm cage where he can go back to eating and taking his naps. And um, we'll just keep you guys updated as we continue to grow up our quail. So for you, those of you that don't know, um, there's a lot of benefits to raising quail. Uh, one of the main benefits is egg production. Now, obviously a quail is not going to give you as large of an egg as chickens will, but they're going to lay consistently and they're going to start laying at about six weeks. So whereas a chicken doesn't lay for about six months or so, um, and some varieties of chickens can take even longer, um, quail are going to start laying eggs for you right around six weeks of age. So it's really, really quick um, time between the time that they're hatched and the time that they actually start producing for your, for your farm or for your homestead. So that's a great benefit and one of the things we're really excited about with uh, raising quail is that we're gonna start getting some, some product from all of our efforts here very quickly. Along with the eggs, um, we're also gonna be able to use our, our birds for meat birds and about eight to 12 weeks is when you wanna look to start butchering your turnix quail. And uh, we'll, we'll do some videos on that too as, as that time approaches. Um, but we just think that this is going to be a great cycle, um, a great thing to add to the homestead, and it's something that um, we'll be able to actually implement for a raw diet for our animals as well. So one of the main things we want to look into doing is uh, feeding both of our dogs a raw diet, which is going to consist of quail and chicken eggs as well as um, some quail. Now we've also got um, the Harvest Right freeze dryer, and we're going to be looking at doing some freeze-dried quail that we're going to turn uh, we're going to put into a dog food formula and we're going to be able to store that as well and um, that's something that we're looking forward to and we'll share more along those lines as we uh, move in that direction and we have some more information on that so those are some benefits of raising quail we're really excited and um, we'll just continue doing what we're doing and bringing along as we go